Hey dudes, how's it going? Welcome to another week on the Day Boo Clicks. My name is Simon. You can catch on the channel Simon Wizzle 91. And it's October time, uh, at last. Uh, been waiting for this time all year round and start reviewing some movies. I've got, I got a good idea for me to do some movies for you. Uh, I want to do the classic uh, universal horror movie characters and their modern day equivalents. So that's The Mummy, The Wolfman, Frankenstein, and Dracula. And I'm going to start things off with the mummy, because the mummy is a good starting point, you know, he's just a mummy, you know, whatever, he's a slow little crappy mummy. I'm going to talk about first, the 1932 mummy directed by Carl Froon and starring Boris Karloff. The basic plot idea is there's a mummy called Imhotep Boris Karloff, he was, uh, did some naughty things back in the day, he gets resurrected, comes up, decides what's to resurrect his princess girlfriend, finds someone who's been reincarnated, who's like a reincarnation of that princess, and then uses her to resurrect the original. And gets foiled. Uh, it's it's a good movie. Now, a good th the thing the Universal were really good at back in the day is making classy, creepy horror movies. Um, as is with all their original uh, Universal movies, they're they're all top notch, good quality movies. This one is no different. Uh, the the style is beautiful. Black and white is just gorgeous. The rich tones. Uh, Karloff does an amazing performance. He just has this hypnotic stare all the way through. Uh, it's an awesome movie. Now, what people don't know is people think that Karloff is just in bandages the whole movie. It's not at all. Like people just think he's just walking around like for the whole thing, but he's only like a mummy for like maybe like core of the movie. And then he starts becoming more human. Yeah, he's, you know, he starts becoming more like the original Imhotep, and then, you know, he's a good bad guy. Um, so I'd give that a 3 out of 5. I would give it a 4 out of 5, but, um, oh, fuck it, it's 4 out of 5, <laughs> 4 out of 5 mummies. Uh, <laughs> 4 out of 5 mummies out of mummies. Oh, now I'm going to talk about the 1999 equivalent of The Mummy, The Mummy, directed by Stephen Sommers, starring Brendan Fraser, and Rachel Weiss, John Hanna, and Arnold Vosloo as Imhotep. Um, Brenda Fraser stars as the main character O'Connell, who's kind of an Indiana Jones character, but he's not an archaeologist, he's just a badass with some fucking guns that likes to spin around in one of those 90s hero hair flicks, you know what I'm talking about? Leonardo DiCaprio used that style very well. <laughs> uh, basically, it's the same plot as the original Mummy, Mummy did something naughty, gets resurrected, Wants to resurrect his, um, his his girlfriend, who is a princess, uh, like the pharaoh's daughter star thing. Finds a reincarnation, uses that to resurrect. But this has got a bit more to it because it's he gets resurrected by the Book of the Dead, and he has to get killed by the Book of the Living to try and find that. And the mummy is bringing the the, the, the plagues of the, 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 the <laughs> I'm talking like a freak. Okay. He brings the plague of Egypt with him, all the plagues, and uh, that's sort of a deterrent from uh, yeah, stop the heroes from stopping him, uh, which is cool. I remember when this movie came out, I fucking loved this movie. Uh, it scared the shit out of me. I loved it. It was like this movie and Men in Black, and I watched them over and over and over and over again, and they were awesome. I thought Brendan Fraser was the coolest dude ever, because I originally saw him in George of the Jungle, and now he's even more of a badass. He wasn't just swinging into the trees, he was killing mummies and shit. So, this one also gets a 4 out of 5, just because of the nostalgia value, and just because it's a good action movie. It's a good action movie, and it's also kind of creepy. And the CG was really good for its time, and I think it still holds up today. Uh, there's quite, there's a few moments in the film where you see people just, like, getting sucked into nothingness as he, like, rips the soul out of them. It's pretty good. There's, it's pretty funny as well. There's some good one-liners, especially from Brendan Fraser talking to his friend Benny, who's like a little ratty fuck who helps the mummy out. So, um, yeah, both movies get four out of five mummies. And um, I'll be here next week with Dracula. Uh, so, that's some serious shit kicking off there. Um, I'll see you next week, motherfuckers. Check out The Mummies. The original Mummy is pretty short. You can probably find it on YouTube. Uh, it's probably, I think it's probably the main, I'm not even sure. The other Mummy you can probably get for like 99 cents at a fucking blockbuster going out of business. I don't know what's going on. Just check them out. I'll see you next week. Have a spooky time. Hope you're enjoying your Halloween. Make sure you get your autumn clothes on. It's starting to get chilly. Make sure you rake up them leaves. And I will see you next week, motherfuckers. <laughs>